Buenas noches. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Cómo Good está? evening. I am okay. You are okay? Good evening. Yeah, yes. Good evening. Bye. Eh, vamos a dar inicio el día de ahora. Sean todos bienvenidos. Eh, para mañana vamos a tener una pequeña actividad. El día de ahora, como vamos a, hemos estado hablando sobre comidas, sobre eh, platos que nos gustan, comidas que no nos gustan. El día de ahora vamos a ver, el tema será... Eh, special dishes, special dishes. Y mañana van a preparar, es decir, van a traer ya sea escrito, bueno, les recomiendo que lo hablemos, que lo hablen, pero pueden tomar notas, hacer, perdón, hacer sus apuntes. Entonces, eh, van a hablar sobre un special dish, cómo lo preparan. Special dishes and um, sequency adverbs. Eso va a ser el tema del día de ahora. Sequency adverbs. Sequency adverbs. Ayer vimos adver adverbios. Eh, los tipos de adverbios que, que vimos ayer fueron de frecuencia, ¿correcto? Frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency. Like, do you remember the uh, frequency adverbs that we studied yesterday? Can you please give me? Yes, oh, um, usually, often, usually. sometimes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, never. never. Often. Okay. Never, always. rarely, usually. always, usually. Okay. Hardly ever, seldom. Hardly ever. So, sometimes. No sé por qué la cámara no muestra el, el fondo eh, que normalmente utilizamos para inglés corporativo, pero en el camino creo que se va a ir arreglando. Ok. Eh, yeah, those were adverse of frequency, correct? All right. So sometimes, always, never. All right. But today we're going to study the uh, sequence of adverbs. Or you can also say adverbs of sequence. Sequence of adverbs. OK. So, that's going to be basically the topic for today. Y lo que van a hacer mañana es tomar nota de un plato especial o una comida especial y van a hacer uso de los sequence of adverbs or sequence adverbs, como les quieran llamar. A veces aparece de una forma, a veces aparece de otra. Adverbs of... Eh, Sequences. Ok. Uh, lo que van a hacer es hacer uso de esas palabras que en un momento las vamos a estudiar. The sequence of adverbs or sequence adverbs. Ok. Ese es el tema del día de ahora. Special dishes and sequence of adverbs. Um, now, what I want you to do is to tell me first, what's your special dish in your opinion? Tell me about your special dish. Uh huh. Okay, Catherine, what's your special okay. dish? Okay. 
In my case, I think that the special dishes for me is the Chinese food because I love to eat vegetable and a little portion of meat. And also, um, I love to eat pasta and rice. Okay, thank you. Julio, what's your special dish? For me, my special dish is a soup bean mm -hmm. with egg and uh, uh, lemon mm -hmm. uh, with se me escapa el nombre. It's en, okay. en hoy. Uh -huh. Onion. No, onion, perdón. Onion. Uh -huh. um, uh, agua, aguacate. ¿Cómo se? How do you say aguacate? Aguacate. No. Okay. Uh, but this soup ha, ha, it has very, very hot. Okay. The soup has to be very hot. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, how often do you eat um, bean soup? How, how, pardon? Repeat how often this. do you eat the dish? Uh, maybe each week. Okay. Uh, Once a week. But, uh, uh, but for me, every day. So you you can eat uh, beans every day. Yes, yes. Like my father-in-law, he loves beans. Okay. Yes. Thank, thank you, <laughs> Catherine. How often do you eat Chinese food? Well, um, I eat um, one day per week. Once a week. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's listen to uh, Lices Alvarado. What's your special dish and how often do you eat that special dish? My special dish is, for example, in the morning, French uh, beans with French plantain and cheese. Uh -huh. How often do you eat? Every day? Uh, mm, no, no. Yes, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, yes. Flor de Maria, what's your special dish? I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. Uh -huh. No le escucho. No se oye. Hoy sí. Hola. Hoy sí. Hola, mi comida favorita, ¿verdad? Your special dish. Dish. ¿Qué quiere decir dish? Su plato, plato favorito. Su plato favorito. Ah, mi plato. Es mm -hmm. el... Eh, es el... Eh, pasta. Mm -hmm. Pasta. How often do you eat pasta? Pasta. I often eat pasta. How often yes. do you eat pasta? ¿Qué tan I seguido? Don't know. Um, sometimes. I sometimes eat pasta. Mm -hmm. Remember that you need to use the uh, adverse of frequency, okay? To express yourself. I sometimes okay. eat pasta, I sometimes, or I normally eat beans, etc. Okay. Thank you. Jenny, what's your special dish?
Jenny, what's your special dish? No se le escucha, Jenny. I cannot hear you. Okay, uh, Julia, what's your special dish? Uh, you are mute. Sería uh, eat often. No, I often eat. ¿Cómo me dijo Mora? Mora, sopa de mora. Mora soup. Mora soup, up so. Mm -hmm. Ajá, entonces sería I often eat mora soup. Soup. Mm -hmm. soup. Uh, para decir el fin de semana sería. Cada on fin week, de semana. On weekends. On weekends. Yes. On weekends. Okay, Wilbur, what's your special dish? My special dish is, uh, is, is um, chow mein. Mm -hmm. um, bistec. Bistec. How often do you eat uh, chow mein? Um, two, two times a week. Twice a week. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Consuelo, what's your special dish? Um, my special dish is uh, meat and potatoes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes um, pasta. I sometimes eat it. Um, and sometimes pasta. Okay, thank you. Um, let's listen to uh, Ana Campos. Yes, teacher. What's your special dish and how often do you eat it? Me acabo de conectar, no sé qué es algo que estarán haciendo ahorita. Uh, we are asking questions about a special dish or a special food. Uh, Gabriel Alvarenga, what's your special dish and how often do you eat it? Mm, my favorite dish is lasaña and meat. How often do you eat lasaña? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, perdón? How often do you eat lasaña? Yes. ¿Qué tan a menudo comes lasaña? Uh, every day. Every day? Ok. Yes. Ahí lasaña just once in a month. De hecho, la, las únicas dos lasañas que me gustan son las de la panadería San Martín, se las recomiendo, buenísima. Solo que el combo, el plato, cuesta como 30 dólares. Le ponen la lasaña y le ponen el, ¿cómo se llama? La sopa de tortilla y una ensalada y una bebida, eso es todo, 30 dólares. Pero se las recomiendo. He comido ahí, no porque eh, la comida sea sea barata, sino por la lasaña, es riquísima. Y este, la, la segunda lasaña, y creo que es la primera, es la que mi, mi, mi señora hace. Buenísima, súper rica. Ahí le ponen los ingredientes que nosotros queremos. Pero es que pasamos comiendo hasta tres días. Súper buena. Entonces, y yo le decía a ella, nunca he comido eh, lasaña más rica que la de San Martín, la de la panadería de San Martín. Y me dijo, Ten, tendrías que probarla a mí. Y cuando probé la de ella, me encantó, realmente. 
Y yo soy bien sincero, cuando le queda la comida buena, le digo está buena, y cuando no está buena, le digo que no está buena. No, que no me gustó. No me, o sea, no me, no me quedo con eso. ¿Perdón? No, teacher, no sé, así uno se siente mal. No, es mejor ser honesto. Si no está buena, no está buena. Si le falta algún toque, se le dice o se le ayuda. Pero, Pero no bueno. va a estar comiendo algo y le va a decir, ay, está rico y no sirve, ¿verdad? Yo le digo que no sirve. O que no está bueno, o que le falta el ingrediente. Pero la lasaña le queda súper rica. Yo soy amante de la cocina. A mí me encanta cocinar. Entonces, y a la mamá de ella le gusta cocinar. Uh -huh. Y creo que he aprendido de los dos. Uh -huh. Aprendido de los dos. Hoy le queda súper buena la comida. Súper buena. Pero si cuando está buena, yo le digo, sí está buena. Ella no sabía hacer sopas. Y yo soy amante de las sopas. Entonces le he enseñado a hacer sopa, ahora le queda súper rica la sopa. Pero al principio sí, yo le decía, no, no me gusta, está simple, le falta esto, le falta lo otro. Y así fue aprendiendo. Pero la lasaña Ay, no. especialmente le queda riquísima. Se la, se la recomiendo. Súper buena. Bueno, bueno. Sí, che. Sí. Yo quería compartir otro menú que también creo que es como parte de de uno de mis favoritos. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, en My Favorite Dish at Lunch es uh -huh. fish con sweet salad and casament casament okay. plus el bocairo y también sí. okay. y el bocairo uh -huh. Ok. Thank you. Wilber le dio risa cuando dije que, que cuando la comida le hacía falta algo. Eh, Wilber ha de ser de las personas que, que mejor se queda así como que sí está rica, ¿verdad? Y tal vez no le gusta la comida. <risas> Sí, exacto. Yo sí le digo, no, te quedó buena. Le. No, no soy sincero. Tenés que ser sincero y decirle, te fal le faltó sal, le faltó tomate, etc. Ajá. Pero si se molesta, ¿cómo va a ser? No, fíjense que nosotros, la relación de nosotros es bien, somos bien sinceros. Este, aunque el en el momento quizás no nos parezca la, la idea, pero le damos la razón a la persona. Pero si no nos gusta algo, siempre lo decimos. Y eso aplica en todo. Así que no tenemos problema con eso. Uh -huh. Wilber okay. sí tiene, por eso no le dice. Ajá, sí, Wilber tiene problema con eso. Y como yo sé cocinar, entonces si me dice, ah, pues si no te gusta cocinar vos, cocino, no hay problema. Así que no tenemos inconveniente con eso. Ok. Ah, prefiero que usted cocine. Sí, la verdad que me, soy, soy, tengo un toque casero. Tengo, ajá, tengo un toque casero y así es como me gusta la comida me gusta bien, así como la que hacen en el campo, ese toque tengo mm -hmm. I have a question yes what say your family when you cook when, ok if they want to eat something delicious I have to cook ya yeah. la, la sopa de res tendrían que probarla buenísima bárbaro sí ok no tiene que invitar entonces sí sometimes one day ok one day. let's listen to Nidia tell me about your special dish and how often do you eat it Nidia. My special dish is chicken quesadillas. Okay, cool. How often do you eat it? Mm. Sometimes. You sometimes eat it. Okay, Erika, how often, I mean, what's your special dish? Ok, Nidia dice, 
estará de oyente, pero participará de vez en cuando. Ok. Lizeth dice 30 dólares. Uf, mejor cocinarla. <ríe> Con 30 dólares come toda la familia. Ok. Sí. No, pero esos son para ocasiones especiales que se hace ese gasto, no de todos los días, ¿verdad? Son Son times. Ajá. Ok, Erika, ¿can you hear? Ok. Now, guys, uh, let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. Just give me one moment. I'm going to share it. Ok, can you see my computer's screen? Y si no están usando el micrófono, desactiven. Yes, I can. Yes, I see. Ok, thank you. There you have some special dishes. And if you have any idea, just let me know. Uh, let's see. How about this dish? What kinds of dish is that? Is that a tuna or is that is that rice? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, guys? What kind of dish is that? I think rice. Rice, right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this dish, what kinds of dish is that? I'm going to show you just the most common ones, the ones that you can recognize. Salad. That is salad, right? Thank you. Okay, and what kinds of dish is this one over here? It looks like pizza, right? Is tacos. Or tacos, maybe, yeah. Okay. How about this one? What kinds of dish is this? Uh huh. Fried tortillas with salad and meat, I would say. Okay. And this one is bread. Okay. So there you have some dishes that people try. But what I want you to study is the sequence. I mean, the, the adverse of sequence. Adverse of sequence. Sometimes you will find them as sequence of adverbs. But normally you will find them as adverse of, of sequence. Okay, I want you to read the explanation. Let's see, Catherine. When do we use the adverse of sequence? Mm, we use the adverb of frequency first, next, then, and after that. And finally, to show the order in which two or more action happen. We use adverse of sequence first, next, then, after that, and finally to show the order in which two or more actions happen. Cooking an omelet. Okay, if you see, you have the order. So first, next, then, after, and finally. So the first one, first, Break the eggs. Next, add the eggs. Okay. Then, you need to add the ingredients. Okay, like tomato, onions. Uh, I don't know. Um, you can add a loroco flour. Okay. And then, 
heat the butter in a pan. After that, fill the omelet with the ingredients, right? With the ingredients here, okay? You can add onions, tomato. Uh, you can also add uh, espinaca, spinach, or you can also add um, some other ingredients that you like, all right? Sometimes people add a sausage to the omelet, if you wish, all right? And finally, fold it in a half or in half, and then enjoy it. If you see, you had the process of preparing an omelet. First, next, then after that, okay? And then you need to include the ingredients, okay? The ingredients. And finally, fold it, fold it in half. Is it clear? Yes. So for tomorrow, you need to use the the adverse of sequence and you will talk about an special dish. Van a hablar sobre, sobre un plato especial y cómo lo preparan usando las los adverbios de, de secuencia que son estos. ¿Alguna pregunta? Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Es una receta, ¿verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. Sí, thank you. Okay, sometimes to the omelet, you can add uh, hot chili pepper, or you can also add uh, green pepper, chile verde, picante. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher. Uh, uh, a mm -hmm. question. Yes, it, Julio. It, 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 it is uh, an, 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 an example. An example. But, an example, but uh, you see the, the sequence of adverbs. Adverse of okay. sequence. You need to use uh -huh. the adverse of sequence. And, and my favorite or oh, special dish. Your special dish. Okay. 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 All right. Teacher. Yes. Eh, tengo que formar, vaya, por, ejemplo, por example, a mí me gusta, I like mora soup tengo mora que soup. mora soup tengo que describir todo en inglés cómo la voy a preparar exactly like for example if if i if i'm going to prepare if i'm going to prepare chicken soup first mm -hmm. i wash the the chicken right and then i cut onions i cut a uh, green pepper and i also cut tomatoes Okay, next, I boil the a chicken in a, mm -hmm. in a pan, in a big pan with water. Mm -hmm. After it, the chicken is cooked, um, I add onions, green pepper, and also tomatoes. Later, I add a, uh, a little bit of Maggi, and also I include spinach to the, to the soup. Finally, I add a salt and then it's ready to serve. We can enjoy it. Something simple, okay? ¿Qué es lo que hice primero? Lavar el pollo. Lavar el pollo, 
Luego lo puse en una olla con agua, lo puse a hervir, ¿verdad? Cuando ya estaba blandito, le, cuando ya estaba hirviendo, le eché tomate, chile, cebolla. Luego, ¿qué le eché? Bueno, olvidé las papas, la, los vegetables. La sopa. Ok. Ajá, sopa magui, luego sal. Y ya cuando estaba blandito, se sirve. Simple. Ok, for example, if you are going to talk about uh, pancakes, in my case, what I do with pancakes, let's see, the way I prepare pancakes, first, I add the flour in a, in a bowl, and also I mix it with eggs, uh, sugar, and milk. And I also include cinnamon, uh, cinnamon. Next, I beat that ingredient. And then I add a, a small portion of that ingredient on a pan. After that, I turn it uh, on the other face or on the other side. And at the end, I add some... Uh, how do you call this? Honeybee. Do you know what the meaning of honeybee is? I usually use honeybee. No. Okay. What was the first step? Do you know what the meaning of flower is? No flower. 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 Uh huh. Arena. Mm -hmm. Okay. Flower ¿Qué es lo que hice primero? Pre preparar o batir la harina hacer Ajá. la harina más bien primero lo que lo que se hace es se agrega la harina en un eh, en un recipiente un pequeño recipiente en inglés se dice ball con huevos eh, se le echa canela azúcar y leche a veces la leche muchos prefieren usar eh, leche eh, líquida eh, yo a veces no tengo líquida pues uso Australian, ¿sí? la disuelvo en un, en un vaso de agua con una medida y lo, luego hago la mezcla. Cuando tengo la mezcla preparada, ya preparo el sartén, le pongo la, la, la margarina o a veces aceite solo untadito, ¿verdad? Para que no se pegue y para que no quede grasoso. Y ya se pone la porción de, de, de mezcla de pancake. Um, cuando ya echa burbujitas, solo le da vuelta al, al, al otro lado y se asegura que no se queme con llama eh, baja y luego ya se sirve con miel, yo uso miel de abeja creo que es me queda rico, queda bueno con miel de abeja pero hay quienes prefieren comprar el botecito de, de miel que viene, un color oscuro no sé miel de qué es eso de panela miel de maple maple bueno no sé ni qué, qué es maple pero yo siempre compro, tengo miel de abeja. Esa es la preferida con los pancakes. Uh -huh. Ok, that's something simple. Si se fijan, yo no estoy escribiendo nada. A puro eh, conocimiento, ¿verdad? Y ustedes van a tener la oportunidad de escribir y extenderlo. O, o dar más información. Ok, is that clear? The adverse of sequence. It's a clear. Ok. Yes, it's Yeah. All right. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and play a video. And I want you to take notes. Okay. Just give me some seconds. Okay, uh, Catherine, can you please read the lesson objective for today? Okay, by the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about a special. I'm sorry, this is the right one, my mistake. <laughs> okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverb of frequency when talking about food. Okay. So, 
And yesterday we were uh, practicing the adverse of frequency. And now let's move to this lesson objective. Okay, so you were reading this one, by the way. By the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about special food. Develop skill and scanning reading for details. Let's see, I'm going to play the video and once you are able to listen to, let me know please. Pueden escucharlo? No, I can't hear you. No, listen. No, listen, teacher. Listen, teacher. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special hey, no. foods. You will also develop skills. Yes, I can hear. Reading for details. I can hear. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like ears. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Okay. Thank you. Now, guys, what I want you to do, I want you to uh, think about an special date in the year and what is the special food that you usually eat during that time. I'm going to give you one minute to think about that. Okay, so if you have some ideas, you can type. First of all, let's make a list of special dates. Special dates during the year. Let's start with January. Do you have any special date on January? Maybe birthday party, birthdays. Okay. How about February? What special dates do you have for February? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. Thank you, Catherine. How about for March, Valentine's Day? What do you have for March? Maybe Holy Week, no. The Holy Week, thank you. La Semana Santa, Holy Week. Thank you, Julio, right. Okay, what do you have for April? <laughs> For April, what special date do you have? So we are making we are making a list of a special dates, and then we are going to make a list of a special dishes for each occasion. Is that clear? What do you have for a uh, April? Do we have do we have a an special date on April? 
No. 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 Okay. Me no. How about May? Day, May, a special day in May is uh, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay. Thank you. What a special date do you have on June? Dad, Father, Dad Father. Day. Father Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Okay. What a special day do you have for July? What a special date do you have for July? Only, only my country, man. Uh huh. I don't know. How about August? What a special date do you have for August? Um, how do you how do you say patronales? Okay, let me let me remember. Let's see. National national festivals, fiestas patronales, national festivals. Okay. okay. In, in, How about in September? Independence. Independence Day. Okay. How about October? Halloween. Halloween, okay. Actually, that's celebrated in the United States, but we imitate, right? Halloween. How about November? What do you have? El Día de los Difuntos. Day of the Death. Day of the Death. November, how about December? Fiestas navideñas. Fiestas navideñas y de fin de año. Merry Christmas, Day. Christmas, a new, Christmas. a new year. Okay. New Year's Eve. Okay. Thank Christmas. you. Now, Thank I you. want you, there you have a special dates. I want you to make a list of a special dishes per each date for your birthdays for Valentine's Day, for Holy Week, for Mother's Day, for Father's Day, national festivals, for Independence Day, for Halloween, Day of the Death, and Christmas, and New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. New Year's New Year. Eve. Okay? New All right. New Year's Eve. Let's make a list of List of the special dishes. Yes. So let's talk about birthdays. What do you usually eat on birthdays? Uh huh. Cumpleaños. Exactly. English. Oh. English. My I eat in my birthday. Mm -hmm. Cake. You eat cake? And how about drinks? Um, what do you drink? Coke, coffee, chocolate? Coke. Okay. Coke. Uh, Coke. Mm -hmm. Yes, Coke. And yeah. cake. Then a uh, sandwich. Oh, sandwich. Okay. Sandwich. That can be another special mm -hmm. day. Sandwich. Yes. Yeah. I love them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now, Catherine, what do you eat on your birthday? On my birthday, I eat the same than Julio because my mm -hmm. family got a cake and sometimes they prepare my favorite food, mm -hmm. but it normally got a cake. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's see, Consuelo, what do you usually eat on your birthdays? Mm 
Okay, thank you. Lizeth, what do you usually eat uh, on Valentine's Day? Hello. Hello. Um, my birthday is in, in, my, in primero de mayo. Um, what? Uh -huh. No, on Valentine's Day, what do you usually eat? Dia San Valentin. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, pues, para mí ese día es normal porque no tengo así como, bueno, con mis amigos, sí. Okay. What do they give you for food? Do they give you something or just gift? Uh, Teacher, I don't understand. Uh, do you eat chocolates ¿Sí? on that day? <laughs> do you eat chocolates? Chocolate. Chocolate. Uh -huh. Chocolate. Chocolate. Ah. <laughs> ah, okay. Bueno, ¿cómo se dice compartir chocolate? I share chocolate. With my uh, friends. I share, I share yes, uh, with my friends. With my friends, family members. Uh, family. Okay. okay. Wilbert, what do you eat on Valentine's Day? Um, normal, normally, mm -hmm. it. Mm, Food, Mexican. Mexican food? Mexican okay. food. Um, All right. Thank you. Do you give chocolate to your wife or to your girlfriend? Um, chocolate. Oh, you give chocolate to your wife? Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Catherine, what do you normally eat on Valentine's Day? Well, in my case, it's a normal day because I don't want to celebrate this day. But mm -hmm. with my family, sometimes um, we prepare a special food and mm -hmm. with my friends and we share chocolates and uh, a surprise gift. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Julio, what do you eat on Valentine's Day? Do you still celebrate Valentine's Day with your wife or not anymore? It's a normal day. A normal day. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Is your um, wife? Is your wife still still alive? Yes. Yes. It's it, it normal. But okay. uh, sometimes. ¿Aún está su esposa con usted ah, o, o está en vida? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Sí, sí. 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 It, uh, it's a normal it, Yes, yes. No me uh, diga que ya, ya maybe, pasó la fantasía. Ya no le regalo <laughs> rosas. Uh, the, the problem is me no, me don't like. You are not affectionist. Give flower. I don't like. You don't like don't to know. give flowers. Ah, okay. No. No es detallista. Uh, no. <laughs> y cuando cuando la andaba conquistando. Entonces sí. 
Ah. <risa> Entonces sí. <risa> ah, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. No, yeah, okay. Yeah. But I, I ever give you hardly ever give her flowers. Flower or a present. Ah, okay. Thank you. And, yes. Uh, I. Day Valentin, uh, my is uh, normally for he was. So I don't have this uh, boyfriend, so I no puedo compartir con otra persona. <laughs> Entonces solo tengo amigos y con ellos comparto. Okay, that's good. It's good to share with your friends. All right. Now, let's move to the Holy Week. Let's see, Wilbur, what do you eat on Holy Week? Uh, no le entendí muy bien la pregunta. What do you eat on Holy Week, on Semana Santa? Mm, well, In the Holy Week. I, I don't... I always, I always am um, going, going to vacation, mm -hmm. um, to beach. Um, no sé si lo dije bien. <laughs> so you go on vacations to the beach, and what do you eat at the beach? Uh, mm -hmm. What do you eat at the beach? Um, beach, uh, the la costa. No. What do you eat at the beach? ¿Qué comes en la playa? Uh, marisco, marisco, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Seafood. Seafood. Uh -huh. yes. mm -hmm. So you eat seafood. What else? Don't you, don't you eat eh, tortas de pescado, mm. torrejas? Soup. Soup and torrejas también. Okay. All right. Thank you. Catherine, what do you eat on the Holy Week? During the Holy Week. Okay. And during the Holy Week, uh, with my family, we usually eat Torrejas and fish. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Uh, how about Mother's Day, Consuelo? What do you eat uh, on Mother's Day? Consuelo. Hola. What do you eat on um, Mother's Day? Um, in the mother day, um, uh, visitarla, pasarla con ella. ¿no? I visit my mom, and what do you I eat with her? Um, uh, meat. Uh huh. Beef, okay. rice. Salad. Uh -huh. Rice, mm -hmm. salad, potato. Potato. Um, mm -hmm. And juice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Gabriela, what do you eat on Mother's Day? Uh-huh. Let's see, Nidia, what do you eat on Mother's Day? In the Mother's Day, mm -hmm. how? Uh-huh. What do you eat? Um, eat where my mom. Oh, you visit your mom? 
Uh -huh. And what do you eat? Do you invite her to a restaurant or do you cook for her? Do you house? So you visit her house and do you invite her to a restaurant or do you cook for her? Her house? No. ¿La invitas a un restaurante o cocinas para ella? Mm. Cooking for you. For her. For, for her. No, no para mí. For her. <laughs> Excuse me. For her. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank mm. you. With uh -huh. my brother. With your brother. Okay. Ana Campos, what do you eat on Mother's Day? Nothing, teacher. My mother is died. Your mother passed away. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry to hear it. Okay. <laughs> my mother's my mother passed away too. She's not alive. Thanks. Hey. You're welcome. A national festival. Carla, what do you eat during national festival? Fiestas patronales. Nothing. What? It's... It's... Don't you like churros españoles or Spanish churros? I love churros españoles. <laughs> Okay, what else do you eat? ¿Cómo? Toast plantains, tostadas eh, de plátano. Do you eat them? Yes. What else do you eat? Crazy corns o elotes locos. Do you eat them? Usually eat... eat um... Solo comer es una semana, Santa. Okay. How about the Independence Day? Catherine, what do you do during the Independence Day? Mm, it's a normal day because I don't want to celebrate this mm -hmm. the, um, Independence Day because mm -hmm. uh, for me it's not important. <laughs> it's not Sometimes that I, yeah, sometimes I... I need to work. Mm, it's okay. a it's a normal day for you. Normal day. <laughs> okay, Julio, what do you eat on Halloween? October thirty first. No, no. I eat no special food. I don't eat a special food. No, but okay. How about hojuelas? Don't you eat hojuelas? Don't you like hojuelas? Uh, that's that's, on, I, that's in I, November, I, I think, right? Yes. Es en noviembre yes, eso de hojuelas, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. November to uh -huh. November. Day of the Death. Mm -hmm. you kill me? Day of the Death. Yes. There are many people uh, that share yeah. candies on Halloween. Candies, sometimes a uh, cake, sometimes a uh, how do you say pumpkin pies, pastel de de de, de calabaza, pumpkin pies. Nunca lo han probado. Uh, well, uh, maybe no, no tenemos la costumbre aquí de comer pan. De muerto, ¿cómo? O, pumpkin pie. Uh -huh. Ah, mm -hmm. pop, ok. Ok. O, ¿Y han probado el pastel de zanahoria? No. Uh -huh. It's deli. ¿Do you like it? ¿Nunca han comido el, pon, el pumpkin pie? Es bueno. Es bueno también el de zanahoria, es bien rico. Ya lo he probado. Delicious. So delicious. El de zanahoria del San Martín es rico. El de naranja, no lo han comido. Yeah, sour. Yes. Súper rico. ¿Qué otro? Uno, uno natural, dígame. 
caramelo. El de chocolate. Chocolate. Yo les hago barra todo lo que sea dulce. <risa> Ya yes, estamos Después ahí estoy así, porque <ríe> se me sube el azúcar. <ríe> ok. Diabético. No, pero es que mucho, o sea, mucho, mucho dulce te afecta también. Bueno, hasta la fecha sí. no, nunca, siempre que me he examinado ha salido bien. Pero uh -huh. um, al comer mucho, sí. Se, se sube. O se baja, no sé cómo es la cosa. Pero la cosa que hace daño. Mucho azúcar. Ok. Listo, hablo. Dice Smiley. Ok. So, and how about Christmas? What do you eat for Christmas? Let's listen to Carla. What do you eat for Christmas? Mm. I visit I visit on my mom and my friend. And what do you eat? Eh, no sé cómo sería panes con pollo. <laughs> okay. Bread <laughs> with chicken. Bread with chicken, beef. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ok, vaya. Entonces, ya saben la actividad que vamos a hacer mañana. Van a hablar sobre algún plato especial usando the adverse of frequency. Ok. okay. Or if you prefer to say uh, frequency of adverbs, sometimes you can find it like that. The adverse of frequency, ok. First, next, then, after, and finally. No les quito más de su tiempo. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.